Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus. And today we're looking at the third beatitude. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. The meek? Jesus, no. Surely you mean the powerful, the prestigious, the CEOs, the politicians, those with levers in high places? You mean those kinds of people? The top dogs, the cool cats, the crafty foxes of this world, the despots, the tyrants, the dictators, those who don't mind stepping on a few faces as they climb the ladder to success. Surely you mean those people are going to end up in charge of the earth? No, Jesus says. The meek shall inherit the land, shall inherit the earth. The meek? What does the meek mean? In our culture, unfortunately, we've kind of ripped the soul out of that word. We don't really know what it means anymore. We've connected it with the word mild, gentle Jesus, meek and mild. And you have to read a few pages of the scriptures to know that's false. Jesus was far from being mild. He was spicy hot, if anything, authoritative, powerful, and yet meek. Like a lamb before its shearers or its slaughterers, uh, he was silent. It means um, strength and power under mastery. And in the ancient world of antiquity, at the same time, Greek writers used this word, for example, of the horse that had been broken in, that was no longer wild or, cha or chaotic or just roaming around willy-nilly, but um, who had been broken in, tamed. Um, all that muscle was channeled for a purpose and under control. And it's that image, it's like the ballet dancer who moves so grateful, gracefully and gently and with such poise, and yet the, the tonnage of muscle and the hours of strenuous exercise and stretching and the number of broken and blackened toenails that have gone into making that movement so graceful is extraordinary. Jesus is talking about that kind of quality of strength under control, of the choice not to act so as to force or coerce your way into being vindicated or justified or get coming out on top. Actually, it's about waiting for God to act. And Jesus here is quoting from Psalm 37, which in verse 11 says, The meek shall inherit the land. Precise quote, direct quote. And the psalm is all about those who are troubled by the fact that the wicked seem to be getting their way all the time. And the psalm says, don't worry, be still and wait for the Lord, because the Lord's going to sort it out. God's going to vindicate you. Don't try to ride in with your cavalry and justify yourself and vindicate yourself and um, take the justice into your own hands. Look to God. Be still, wait, pause, hold that moment. It says in verse 9, the, those who wait for the Lord will inherit the land. Verse 11, the meek shall inherit the land. So the meek and those who wait for the Lord are the same, one and the same. So this week, perhaps as we go through our days, let's pay attention to those moments when violence, frustration, anger bubbles up inside us. And rather than choosing that to act there and then and saying something or doing something that we regret, instead of holding that moment, that, that breathless place and inviting God to breathe into it instead.